What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a brand new home cinema projector. This is the Vanco Leisure 510. Now with this HD projector, you'll be able to enjoy your movies and games on a massive screen up to 200 inches and enjoy a home cinema experience for an amazingly low price. Now I also picked up the Vanco portable tripod stand for projectors and a 120 inch projector screen. So without further ado, let's just get this all unboxed. So first of all, the projector tripod over here and the portable projector screen. So this is a 120 inch projector screen. So this is what you can expect. So you basically have to fix this to your wall. This comes with double-sided stickers so you don't even have to use nails. You've got these metal circuits going all the way around. I'm not going to open this up right now because it's going to be a pain to fold it back together because I'm not actually going to be using this at the moment. I picked this up for the future when I get my um, home cinema theatre room set up. Then I'm going to pin this to the wall and I'm going to have myself a proper home cinema 120 inch screen. This is a very good quality projector screen. Um, you can get various different sizes. I picked up the 120 inch, but also it's very popular on Amazon. It's got some great reviews. So if you're looking for a projector screen, then this could be a good option for you. Next up we have this tripod stand. Now I've never actually used a tripod stand before for a projector so uh, when I saw this I was quite excited to see how good it would be because I've always needed something like this. So you have this aluminium metal plate here. You've got this like elastic band which will secure it in place. Now over here you have this rubber non-slip mat which will keep your projector from moving around and of course it won't scratch your projector up either. At the bottom you have a base with a large tripod screw. Now let's get the tripod out itself. So the tripod comes in a carry bag which is again handy. Let's have a look. I love tripods. I love tripods and I've got so many different kinds as you would expect. But this is going to be a totally different type of tripod. Look at the size of that thread. It's huge. Okay, so I'm going to put this on top. So the tripod itself, you can see, it's got extendable legs. So you can just clip that out and extend it accordingly. I will put the maximum measurements on the screen right now so you know how big this can get. Let's put this on top. That's probably the best way to do it. So that's secure. Lovely. Let's take a few shots of that, shall we? So what I like about this tripod is if you've got a handle here and you can basically pick the tripod up and down from this handle, which does make things a lot easier when you, if you want to carry this around as opposed to lifting it from the plate, which is probably not a good idea. So the handle works wonders. Now the tripod itself is made completely from metal. All the parts, joints and levers and extensions are actually made from plastic, including the handle that's also made from plastic. But I'm getting a very durable feel to this. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all. So it's definitely very well made. We have fully extended it out, but you also have a dial here, which will further extend the height for you. So a very good tripod. I definitely needed one of these. So let's get this projector unboxed. Now this is everything you get in the box. The first thing we have to mention is this bag. Now I've never seen a projector come with its own carry bag and a very good quality carry bag. Now the bag itself is padded and you've got compartments here for the remotes and the cables and you can zip it up. You've got double zips. And once you zip it up, you've got handles here and you can carry that around. A very nice touch indeed. This comes with a carry case. So inside the box, you will also find your paperwork user manuals. We've got a small remote control here, which takes two AAA batteries, HDMI cable, a 3.5 millimeter to AV cable. And this one is for your old school connections for VCRs, PlayStation 2s, old camcorders, etc. So that's included. We've got a UK power cable included. And last but not least, the projector itself. So 
This is an LED video projector. Lamp life is 50,000 hours. Brightness is 3,600 lumens. You've got a native resolution of 1280 by 768. You've got HDMI inputs. This has a contrast ratio of 3,000 to one. It will give you an optimal screen size from between 44 inches to a massive 200 inches. Now you do have dual cooling fans inside this system to keep everything running cool. And you've also got built-in stereo speakers, which I believe are three watt times two. So closer look at all the ports. So we've got the logos on top, focus and keystone correction. So that will enable you to fine tune the image to give you the best picture possible. You've got some navigation here and some controls along with the power button. And all of these controls you have also on the remote control. So at the front of the projector we have an infrared port and your lens cap which is removable and you can see your lens. Now on the side there's nothing, there's just going to be ventilation. So we've got a power socket, your main power switch. You've got VGA, two HDMI ins. So you can connect your PlayStation, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, your Nintendo Switch, your Android TV box, Mi box, Fire Stick, etc. So you can plug in any of your HDMI devices and enjoy that on the big screen. You've also got two USB ports to play movies off a USB drive. You've got an AV port, headphone jack. So you can plug in your headphones, but you can also plug in a set of speakers if you wish. You've also got a micro SD card slot to play movies off an SD card and you've got another infrared port there for your remote control. So two infrared ports, one on the front, one on the back. So your remote control will work no matter which angle you're in. Now all of this stuff here, the bubbles, it's just plastic which I'll remove. Now this projector actually has two fans built in to keep the system running cool. Now on the side again ventilation. So that brings us back to the front of the projector and if we flip it around this is what the bottom of the projector looks like. Now you do have a button on the front which I just missed. You press it and that will give you some elevation on the projector when you lay it down. Now let's talk about the feet. You've got feet here which you can unscrew allowing you to mount this to a ceiling using ceiling brackets etc. So you've got your four screws in there and that simply unscrews. So without further ado let's just get all this hooked up and find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. So we are now up and running. The projector is roughly two meters away from that wall in front and we are projecting a 72 inch screen and you can see the picture quality is absolutely stunning. I will briefly turn the light on to show you the difference. So you can see the image light on and you still have a clear image you can see everything on that screen it's still very detailed and great quality which means that this projector can be used in the daytime if you need to but i will switch the light off again and you can see it's beautiful absolutely beautiful projection now we are projecting the Amazon Fire TV stick plugged it directly into the projector and the power for the Fire Stick is also plugged in directly to the projector. So the projector is powering the Fire TV stick. So let's go ahead and play a few trailers and games and see what this projector can do. I'll be right back. Right, so the first thing we are going to test is actually noise. You could possibly hear the fan. So I'm going to get my sound meter out and I'm going to give you guys an idea of what the fan sounds like. So this is a 720p native projector, so we should be able to get Netflix in HD quality. So as you can see, this does support HD Netflix with 5.1 sound. Hey, I think it's vodka clock. Oh yeah. Where's Jason? Too. I think we're about to 
So there you have it guys, that was the Vankyo Leisure 510. Now this is an absolutely amazing and enjoyable home cinema projector which produces superb image quality for both movies and games. Projection quality is very bright and clear, built in speakers are also quite loud and good quality. You have dual fans which keep the system nice and cool and the fans are also not that loud. Now in the demonstration I was projecting a 72 inch screen in the office but you can go up to 200 without any loss of quality and I was simply blown away by what this projector can do so that brings us to the top performing projector chart of 2019 and as you can see the Vankyo Leisure 510 has taken position 2 on this chart now this projector gives you more or less the same quality as the YG600 but the advantage of this projector is it comes with a carry case furthermore I absolutely love that tripod stand it's a very cost effective investment and it's ideal if you're going to pick up a full size projector like this one. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check these products out. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.